Chengdu, China to Xinjiang, which is going to be awesome, right? Yes. Holy shit, I just made it to the top of what's actually kind of just like a hill, but it's like a mountain. This lake is something like 3,000 meters. We're now in Wulanxian, which is just like a small town. Um, somewhere in northern Qinghai. Right, so our bike just broke and that was frustrating. Hey, hello! Okay, so apparently we screwed up our tire on I think glass or something. And there's like five I can't leave the hotel premises. Um and when our bike is fixed, the police are going to escort us, are going to drive us to the motorcycle, and then they're gonna escort us out of town. We're headed back to Wulan Tian. And we're headed back because we're not allowed to stay in that town and our motorbike is still not fixed. But tomorrow our motorcycle should be all fixed and ready and then we can go back to the town that I'm not really allowed to be in and pick it up and then leave. Which would be cool. We'll work out. And then we can make our way, then we plan to make our way to a nearby city. Essentially to drop off the motorbike and then go up to Dunhuang. Police just escorted us outside of town, and uh, yeah, we're on our way to go. We ended up traveling very, very little towards our next destination, and stopped in a small to get some, some more repairs done. The police showed up. And apparently we weren't allowed in that town either. And most towns in this area I don't think we're allowed in. Because there's just military everywhere. So uh, they just came in, checked checked my visa and her her chef and gen, her ID card. And essentially waited outside to escort us out of the town. Yes. it's a bad break. It's something inside in the piston or in the starter. I don't know. We're in a tiny city with only one repairman and this repairman um, everyone says probably can't fix it but he's he's trying. This. And if he doesn't luckily there's a couple other cool guys with a truck that said they'd take us to a nearby city. Only problem with this nearby city is it is yet again another city I'm not allowed to go to. So I'm going to cover my face like this and put on these sunglasses if we have to go and then just pretend like I'm not a foreigner. Oh, this is where we slept last night. We slept there, right there on the floor. There's a motorcycle. You can see it's been taken apart slightly. Pieces are, are out, His guts are hanging out. Um, Cause this is where we're leaving it for about a month because we are going to go to Xinjiang without our motorcycle but yeah they were nice enough the guy fixing it was nice enough to be like hey here's the key to your place you can stay or key to key to my my uh, 
workshop. You can stay and sleep there, which was nice. Unfortunately, sleeping, it smells of oil and gas and it was absolutely disgusting. But, whatever. It was simple and easy and it was only one night. So yeah, now we're waiting here for this taxi guy to come get us and take us to the, the station where we're going to go to Xinjiang. Well, first we're going to go to Dunhuang and see Dunhuang. And then we're going to go to Xinjiang. It'd be cool. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> you need to say Xinjiang. Xinjiang is Dunhuang, okay? Xinjiang is the next one. Dunhuang. First to Dunhuang, then to Xinjiang. Sorry. <laughs>